All right, welcome to another episode of Clip Component Ammo, sponsored by Guns R Us 423. Okay, so everybody has been requesting for me to do a field strip of the KSG. Everybody saw it shooting, so if you haven't saw it shooting, just um, go through our videos and you will see more of the action. All right, so what I'm going to do right now, oh yeah, before we even get to that, like, subscribe, and share so I can bring y'all more videos Leave comments. Let me know exactly what guns you want to see, what guns you need taken apart, you know, what guns if you want to show you how to clean them, how to shoot them, or whatever. You know, I'm going to have the Desert Eagle pretty soon. Just give me a little bit of time. All right, now, let's get to the KSG, and let's get the field strip in this. Okay, first thing to come off is the lower receiver. So, right here on the KSG, we have two screws that need to come out. Some people can get these out without a screwdriver. Mine's it's pretty new, so I gotta, you know, do it other ways. Now, Caltech has made this pretty cool, and they put a spot right here where you can hold the screws right here in the handle. Okay. So first, that was first things first. Now, let's get to the bus stock that needs to come off after that. Also, you gotta make sure, I should have told you this first. When you rack it, when you see these silver pins, that's how you know that it's not loaded. Make sure the gun is not loaded before you start doing this. All right, and make sure this also is standing up straight. All right, so the bus stock needs to come off. Most people can just pull it off. Mine doesn't work like that. So that's how you pull that off. So now you can oil this up, clean it. I know I have the strap in the way. You can oil this up, clean it as well. In the next video, I'll show y'all how to take this part off too. Just And I don't have a quarter right now. But you can look on YouTube and see how to take that part off. But this is as far as um, Kiltech wants you to take this apart. But, you know, you can also do whatever you like. All right. So, um, in order to put this back together. Oh, yeah. Also, sorry about that. We had to take the pin out. So, what I did was pull this out. And then you can take the pin out. All right. So in order to put this pin back in, put this at a 90 degrees angle, push this down a little bit far into there until you're able to turn it. When you're able to turn it, I usually turn it upside down. So I'm able to lock it in. That's how it looks when you lock it in. Pull this. When you hear that click, that's how you know you got it in right. So when you hear that click, then pull this all the way to the front. Make sure you put the butt stock on. You have the silver pieces all the way down. You don't want to put this on and they're sticking all the way up because the gun will not work properly. This is a problem people usually run into and nobody was telling, um, nobody was speaking on YouTube on how to do this. When you run into this problem and it doesn't come all the way on, what you do is you grab a hold to the firing pin, lift up, that eases it on, puts it on correctly. Okay. And the last but least is the lower level, fire, uh, the lower level. Click this in right here. It has a piece right here. Where you click this in. Once you click that in, I usually push this to lock it in. One more second. I knocked it out of there. Okay. Usually click that in. And then you take the two pins out of here. 
Click those back in, make sure it snaps in all the way. And there you have it. That's how you feel, strip the KSG and put it back together. Like I said before, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. I have another KSG on the way and I will be giving it away, but that's, you know, once I get somewhere around a, you know, 10,000 subscribers, you know, these, um, these are not cheap. You know, you might find one. The cheapest I've seen them is like 800, 900, um, with tax and everything, especially if you're in Chicago, they charge in like a violence tax and all stuff like that. So, you know, you might walk out of there for like a thousand dollars, you know, I've seen them for 1200 also, you know, so it's a great gun to have great for defense. So, any, any questions you have, leave them below. I'll get back to you. Have a great day, and I wish everybody much success.